Hey, space enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the incredible world of astronomy to explore the 13 record breaking space discoveries of 2023. Buckle up, because the universe has some mind blowing surprises in store for us. Number 1 The Sun's Gamma Ray Fireworks. Astronomers at Michigan State University made a groundbreaking announcement about the highest energy gamma ray ever seen coming from the Sun. It's a whole new level of brightness that has left scientists astonished. Before this discovery, NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope had seen gamma rays from the Sun with energies up to 200 billion electron volts. That's super energetic. These gamma rays happen when fast moving particles from deep space, called cosmic rays, crash into the Sun's atmosphere. But now, a telescope called the High Altitude Cherenkov Observatory, HAWC, in Mexico found even more powerful gamma rays. HAWC has 300 water tanks, each with a lot of water. When a gamma ray hits Earth's atmosphere, it makes a shower of tiny particles that move faster than light in water. This makes a flash of light called Cherenkov radiation. The HAWC telescope saw subatomic particles from solar gamma rays with energies up to a trillion electron volts. That's a lot. Scientists were surprised by how bright the sun was at these energies. We're not exactly sure how this happens, but cosmic rays may be the cause. They go deep into the sun about 620 miles below its surface, and interact with hidden magnetic fields. Studying these gamma rays could help us understand what's happening inside the sun. Number 2. Vela Pulsar Smashes Gamma Ray Energy Record In 2023, more amazing gamma rays were found, and this time they came from the pulsar in the Vela supernova remnant. A pulsar is a spinning neutron star that's left behind after a big star explodes in a supernova. Normally, pulsars are seen at radio wavelengths but some of them also give off gamma rays. These gamma rays are thought to happen when electrons move around the pulsar's strong magnetic field. The intensity of gamma rays from a pulsar can be shown on a graph, where the energy is on one side and how strong it is on the other. Usually, gamma rays from pulsars go up to a few hundred billion electron volts, and then there's a limit. Sometimes, a pulsar goes beyond this limit, like the Crab pulsar, which emits gamma rays peaking at one trillion electron volts. But now, the record has been broken by gamma rays from the Vela supernova remnant pulsar. The High Energy Stereoscopic System, HESS, in Namibia made this discovery. These gamma rays are much higher than the usual limit, suggesting that we don't fully understand how electrons get accelerated in strong magnetic fields. Number 3. The Universe's Biggest Explosion The biggest explosion ever seen in the universe was discovered in May. It's the most intense, long lasting, and powerful explosion shining 10 times brighter than any known supernova. This explosion, called at 2021 LWX, was found in a galaxy whose light has been traveling to us for 8 billion years. Scientists found it using the Zwicky Transient Facility in California and the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, Atlas, in Hawaii. These systems look for things happening in the sky, like a moving asteroid or a big cosmic explosion. At 2021 LWX was incredibly bright, shining with a luminosity 2 trillion times brighter than our sun. Scientists think it's not a regular exploding star because those get dimmer after a few weeks or months. Instead, they believe it's a superassive black hole eating up a massive cloud of gas, maybe a cloud a thousand times more massive than the sun. This kind of event is called a tidal disruption event, and it's the first time something this big has been seen. The black hole's strong gravity tears the gas cloud apart, creating shockwaves and releasing a lot of energy. Scientists are excited about new observatories coming online in the next few years, like the Vera Rubin Observatory's Legacy Survey of Space and Time. They hope to find more events like this and learn more about how the centers of galaxies change over time, even if these events are very rare. Number 4. The Most Distant Fast Radio Burst The farthest fast radio burst, FRB, ever found was announced in 2023. In a report published on October 19th in the journal Science, it was explained that on June 19th, 2022, scientists spotted an FRB that had traveled through space for a massive 8 billion years. FRBs are puzzling because they are quick bursts of radio waves lasting just milliseconds, yet they can release as much energy as our sun does in 30 years. No one knows exactly what causes them, and they often happen randomly in the universe. Sometimes, they even repeat and scientists think extremely magnetic neutron stars called magnet R's might be responsible. The record-setting burst was discovered by the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder, a SCAP, 
a group of 36 radio dishes. A scap found where the burst came from, named FRB 20220610A. This allowed the very large telescope in Chile to look closer and identify the source as a system of two or three colliding galaxies. We see these galaxies as they were 8 billion years ago. Because FRB 20220610A traveled through a lot of space to reach us, it encountered many rogue electrons in the space between galaxies. These electrons took some energy from the radio waves, making the signal a bit spread out. The more spread out the signal is, the more electrons it passed through. This dispersion measurement could help us learn about hidden stores of atomic matter that we can't detect otherwise. While we still don't know what causes these massive bursts of energy, the paper confirms that fast radio bursts are common events in the cosmos and that we will be able to use them to detect matter between galaxies and better understand the structure of the universe, explained Ryan Shannon of Swinburne University in Australia. Number 5. Most Distant Detection of the 21CM Line In 2023, scientists made the farthest detection of radio waves related to hydrogen gas. They found radio waves coming from a galaxy that we see as it existed 8.8 .8 billion years ago. Scientists use something called the 21 centimeters line, which is a special wavelength, to study how hydrogen gas is spread in galaxies and the universe. Normally, radio telescopes can look at the 21 centimeters line in our Milky Way and other galaxies close to us. But galaxies far away are usually too dim to see at this wavelength. There's one galaxy called SD Cess J0826 plus 5630 that has a special advantage. Its light, including its radio waves, gets bigger or magnified because it passes through a gravitational lens. This lens is like a distortion in space caused by a big object, in this case, a large galaxy, in front of it. Nirupa Roy from the Indian Institute of Science explained that this magnification makes the signal 30 times stronger, so the telescope can detect it. The giant meter wave radio telescope in India found this magnified 21 centimeters radio signal. Scientists, including Roy, use the strength of this signal to figure out how much hydrogen gas is in SD Cess J0826 plus 5630. They discovered that this galaxy has twice as much mass in the form of hydrogen gas as it has in stars. Number 6. Ingenuity takes to the air in record time. Ingenuity, the helicopter on Mars, set new records recently. On September 16th, it had its longest flight hovering in one spot for 142.59 seconds. Then, during its 63rd flight on October 19th, it matched this duration and also flew across the Martian land for 579 meters, 1,901 feet, making it the third longest distance it had covered in one flight. Since it landed on Mars in February 2021 with the Perseverance rover, Ingenuity has completed 67 flights as of December 17th. In total, it has spent 121.1 minutes in the Martian air, covering a distance of 15.3 kilometers, 9.5 miles, and reaching heights of up to 24 meters, 78.7 feet. Ingenuity's continuous success shows that even though it started as an experimental mission, it has become a long-lasting and impressive achievement. Number 7. NASA Confirms the Hottest Summer on Record NASA has confirmed that the summer in the Northern Hemisphere in 2023 was the hottest ever recorded. This is not a good record to have. Scientists at NASA's Goddard Institute of Space Studies, GSS, in New York found that this extreme heat was a result of human-caused global warming and the impact of El Nino, which raised sea temperatures. To figure out how much warmer it was, GSS scientists compared temperatures to the average summer temperatures between 1950 and 1980. They discovered that June, July, and August combined were, on average, 0.23 degrees Celsius, 0.41 degrees Fahrenheit, warmer than the average during 1950 to 1980. August alone was 1.2 degrees Celsius, 2.2 degrees Fahrenheit, warmer. Even though these numbers might not sound like a lot, it's crucial to limit global warming to less than 1.5 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial average to address climate change. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson emphasized that the high temperatures had real-world consequences, such as massive wildfires in Canada, Greece, and Hawaii, as well as deadly heatwaves in Europe, Japan, South America, and the United States. Gavin Schmidt, the director of GISS, warned that climate change is happening and the things scientists predicted are coming true. He added that it will get worse if we continue emitting carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. 
Number 8. Antarctic sea ice hits record low. In 2023, there was more concerning news about the climate. A study by NASA and the National Snow and Ice Data Center, NSIC, at the University of Colorado, Boulder, showed that the amount of sea ice in Antarctic waters reached a record low. Additionally, the Arctic didn't fare much better, as scientists found it had the sixth lowest amount of sea ice ever measured since they started keeping records. Sea ice extent refers to the areas of the ocean where at least 15% is covered by ice. Using satellite data to track sea ice in both the Arctic and Antarctic, scientists discovered that on September 10, Antarctic sea ice covered only 16.96 million square kilometers, 6.5 million square miles, the lowest ever recorded. The previous record low was in 1986, and it had 1.03 million square kilometers, 398,000 square miles, more ice than the recent figure. In the Arctic, there was even less sea ice, although it didn't break a record. Scientists mentioned, it's a record-smashing sea ice low in the Antarctic. The loss of sea ice is linked to increasing temperatures caused by human-induced global warming. This process can create a harmful cycle. Less ice means less reflection of solar energy back into space, which warms the planet. With less ice, more dark ocean is exposed, absorbing solar energy more efficiently, leading to higher ocean temperatures and less sea ice, and the cycle continues. Number 9. Astronaut Breaks NASA Record for Time Spent in Space In 2023, NASA astronaut Frank Rubio inadvertently made history by becoming the first American to spend a whole year in space aboard the International Space Station, ISS. Rubio, along with cosmonauts Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Petlin, joined Expedition 67. They were initially supposed to return to Earth after six months, but a coolant leak in their Soyuz capsule meant they had to stay on the ISS for over a year. The trio finally came back to Earth, landing in Kazakhstan on September 27, 2023, after spending 371 days in space. Rubio broke the previous record set by NASA astronauts Mark Vandy Hay in 2021-2022, 355 days in space, and Scott Kelly in 2015-16, 340 days in space. However, Rubio is still behind the overall record holder, the late cosmonaut Valery Polyakov, who spent 437 days on the Russian Mir space station between 1994 and 1995. Number 10. This white dwarf is an interstellar speed demon. In July, astronomers discovered the fastest runaway stars ever observed in our galaxy by studying data from the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite. They found six new hypervelocity stars, and two of them, named J0927-6335 and J1235-3752, are the speediest ever seen. They are zooming through space at 2,285 km per second and 1,694 km per second, respectively. To give you an idea, J0927-6335 could go around the Earth 694 times in just one hour, not as fast as Superman but still pretty speedy. These stars are called white dwarfs, which are the cores of sun-like stars that have finished their fusion reactions, shed their outer layers, and ceased to exist. Scientists believe these white dwarfs were once part of binary systems, where the companion star exploded in a huge supernova, giving the white dwarf a powerful kick. These stars are extraordinary because they are traveling much faster than normal stars in the Milky Way, explained Kareem El Badri from the Harvard, Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. Because they're faster than the galactic escape velocity, they'll soon be launched into intergalactic space. Number 11. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, the most expensive telescope ever built, has made a remarkable discovery, the most distant supermassive black hole ever detected in the universe. The JWST found this black hole in a galaxy known as Suarez 1019, which we see as it existed about 13.3 billion years ago, just 570 million years after the Big Bang. The black hole's mass is about 9 million times that of the Sun, making it twice as massive as the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. Suarez stands for Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science, a research program using the JWST to identify the most distant galaxies in the universe. These supermassive black holes become visible because they are actively consuming a bright disk of hot gas around them. In the case of Suarez 1019, the galaxy seems irregularly shaped, with three bright clumps, possibly formed through a collision between two or more galaxies, sending a large amount of matter toward the black hole.
scientists suggested that a galaxy merger might be fueling the activity in this black hole, potentially leading to increased star formation. JWST's observations are getting us closer to finding some answers. Number 12. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has made a special discovery, the smallest brown dwarf ever found. This dwarf, found in the star cluster IC 348, is just three to four times the mass of Jupiter, making it about the same size as some planets. A team of astronomers used the JWST to spot this brown dwarf, along with others in the star cluster, all having less than eight times the mass of Jupiter. IC 348 is located a thousand light years away in the Perseus molecular cloud. This discovery is helping scientists answer the fundamental question in astronomy. What are the smallest stars? Brown dwarfs are sometimes called failed stars because they form similarly to stars, directly coming together from a gaseous nebula. However, their small size means they lack the mass needed to generate the high temperatures required in their cores for the nuclear fusion of hydrogen, which is the characteristic sign of a star. This particular brown dwarf couldn't be a rogue planet that formed in a disk around a star before being ejected. Both the dwarf and IC 348 are only about 5 million years old, which isn't enough time for a gas giant planet to form around a star in the usual way and then be thrown into deep space. Number 13. A study in the summer of 2023 revealed that the explosive eruption of the Hungatanga Hunga Haapai volcano on January 15, 2022 caused an unprecedented number of lightning strikes and a supercharged thunderstorm that lasted for 11 hours across a vast area spanning 240 kilometers in width. The volcano became active in December 2021, but it was the explosive eruption a month later that garnered attention. This eruption, considered the most powerful atmospheric explosion ever recorded, was particularly remarkable because the source, the volcano's caldera, is located 150 meters underwater. The eruption ejected 5 billion kilograms of material per second, creating a plume that reached an astonishing height of 58 kilometers. Scientists from the U.S. Geological Survey stated, there are theoretical limits for how high a plume can go and how fast the eruption rate can be, and the Hungatanga eruption just smashed them all. As the plume spread high above the ocean surface, it formed a massive, dome-shaped cloud. The overspilling plume material falling onto the cloud created pressure waves that rippled out in concentric circles. In these ripples, filled with electrically charged ice crystals from the underwater eruption and ionized volcanic ash, the lightning occurred. At its peak, there were 2,600 flashes per minute, totaling 192,000 flashes over the course of 11 hours. Scientists stated, We've never seen anything like the sheer rate of lightning before, and at such high altitudes. That's all for today. Thank you for joining us. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more mind-blowing content. Until next time, keep looking up.